Podcast 6, Performance Anxiety. The goals, the definition of performance anxiety, applications from real-life situations, and an assignment. A simple and clear definition, performance anxiety is con- is a combined intellectual and emotional response that interferes with elite performance. We're going to take a look at the brain waves that were introduced in the brain waves and parallel processing podcast. The graph shows just two of the waves, alpha and theta. The red lines are for the right hemisphere and the blue lines are for the left hemisphere. As you will note that after a short time, the blue lines and the red lines start to separate. The two halves of the brain are out of synchrony. This is due to anxiety and a subsequent loss of concentration. The graph shows all four brain waves. More particularly, we want to look at the bottom of the graph that shows the beta waves. As can be seen in the beta waves, they are very large and intense compared to the other three brain wave patterns. Under pressure, when it seems to be less than 60 minutes in an hour, the beta wave is dominant. Anxiety can also affect the theta waves with an associated loss of concentration. This graph shows the simultaneous recording of muscle tension on the bottom, the EMG scale, AVT, or eye focusing on the middle scale, and the brain waves on the top scale. The two green arrows show where there is sustained relaxation of eye focusing and a subsequent increase in the alpha brain wave and decrease in the EMG showing muscular relaxation. As mentioned in previous podcasts, it is the alpha brain wave that puts people in the zone with parallel processing and a dramatic increase in situational awareness. To emphasize, being in the zone also leads to general relaxation. We now begin a series of slides demonstrating real-life experiences of a reduction in performance anxiety as a result of the training. The first is about Sandy. She needed to overcome her anxiety about her temperamental piano accompanist. Being in the zone allowed her to transition from worry and focus on her performance. Bob Walk was one of the baseball players that I worked with for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He told me that the biofeedback training got him into the zone and he was able to ignore internal and external distractions and thereby make his pitching much more effective. Tinkerbell wanted to become a successful Irish folk singer. Never having competed before, it's understandable that she had some anxiety. After the training, she was able to win the New York Metropolitan Area Competition and play second in the international competition in Ireland. Roger was the world champion in the air rifle, and Robert was a silver medalist in the 1992 Olympics. They both attributed their success to the training. Pictured pictured on the desktop is the Track Vision Trainer, the precursor to the current zone track. Connie attributed her previous attributed breaking her previous records to her increased concentration and relaxation as a result of the training. James Purdy, who was a very disciplined writer and would meditate often during the day, he found that the biofeedback training helped him to generalize that relaxation and meditation into his reading and was able to read under many different to, able to read to many different audiences sometimes not under ideal lighting conditions. After a lifetime of wearing glasses, Terry ended up with trifocals. After the training, Terry did not need to wear glasses at all. 
and accordingly was much more relaxed and effective in her work and in her life in general. <clears throat> Jan Childress's successes speak for themselves. You can do a search on YouTube and watch his championship performance in action. And that's him on the, the far left. And um, the training enabled him to be ambidextrous. And he attributes that success to the training. Dr. Megan was a classmate of mine and now a colleague as well. He continues to compete in karate competition, not only forms but also sparring. As you can see, very recently he placed second in an international tournament, adding to his many medals, awards, and trophies. He attributes his excellent hand speed to the in the zone training. As an assignment, identify any anxiety producing situation. Next, imagine your most relaxed experience. Now bring back the anxiety producing situation and overlay it with the relaxed experience. Practice that technique frequently until the relaxed experience becomes an automatic response to anxiety. This is the contact information if you have any questions. <clears throat>